and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Since Cinema 4D R23, we've got a motion capture content library. So let me go to the content browser and scroll down here until motion capture. And if we unfold this, you see that there is a folder with a model in T-Pose and a folder containing many motion capture clips. But how can we apply them to a model? Let me show you. Let's go back to the object manager and here you see that we've got two characters, one in an A pose and one in a T pose. For this to work you need to know that the character needs to be in a T pose. For rigging this character I use the character object with the Mixamo control rig. And after going through all of these steps here I just made it editable and deleted everything except for the bind hierarchy. You don't need to do this but it helps to keep the overview now. The base for applying motion capture data to the character here is to go through the new retargeting workflow. And now I'm going to show you how this works. First, I right click one of the objects containing the rig and then I go to Rigging Tags, Character Definition. So in order to transfer an animation from one character rig to the other, we need to create a character definition. Now we go to Open Manager and this will bring up this manager here and you can see that we need to assign the respective joints to all of the different body parts here. But if you use the Mixamo control rig, you can just click Extract Skeleton and the name filtering here will take care of the rest and will assign all of the joints to the respective body part. Once this is done, we click Set Reference Pose and again, make sure that the reference pose is a T-pose. And after that, we click this little button here, Create Solver, and this will create another tag, which is the character solver tag. You can also find this if you right click an object and go to rigging tags, motion solver. And now we've got a tag that is capable of transferring the animation of a source character definition to a target character definition. Our target character definition is already applied. It's the one we just created. And now we just need to go to the content browser and let's create a new one here and just scroll through the different clips and let's say I want to use the static jump A for example. I just double click that and close the content browser and go back to the object manager. And then I select the character solver tag again and drag and drop the character definition tag of the motion capture data into the source character link field. And once I did that, you can see that the character already jumped into a new pose and if I press play now, you can see that the character is jumping. Now let me pause this animation and go back to the content browser. And now let's add the running loop simply by double clicking it. And if we now apply this to the character solver tag, simply by dragging and dropping the character definition into the source character field, we've got a running person. Let me also delete the static jump for now and let's go back to frame zero because you might have noticed if I press play that the rig is running away but our guy here is running in the very same position. Now if I go back to the first frame I can just drag and drop the whole character here into the motion offset null and now if I hit play the character is also going to run away. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.